everybody and welcome to my channel every day with Jackie today is a very special video for me I am doing a collab with my girl Nona from my so-called life 77 and I have just a few fun facts about Nona Nona has a nine-month-old grandson by the name of Connor and he calls her Nana she has four nephews and three dogs who she says are her babies. And you guys, if you know me, you already know that I have a fur baby as well. And he is my heart. So Nona, I am with you on that. She's also been married for 21 years. Now that is almost unheard of. But 21 years to a lucky guy by the name of Jimmy. And one thing about Nona that I did not know, I've heard her say on her channel that she was disabled, but Nona is allergic to the sun. So I had one friend that said that she was allergic to the sun and if she would stay out, you know, for prolonged periods of time, she would just get a rash all over her body. So Nona, uh, my heart goes out to you on that. So she is allergic to the sun and she doesn't get out often. She says YouTube and makeup are her outlets. So another thing that I do know, know about Nona's channel is she loves to do hauls. She loves to do shop my stash videos and empties. And the favorite thing that her channel is known for is collabs. Nona collabs relentlessly. She does maybe four or five. I don't know if she does videos or uploads videos every day of the week except for the weekends but she uploads quite a bit throughout the week so she's always collabing with some of her lady friends so i felt very honored as you can imagine when she asked me to do a collab with her so nona i hope i have made you proud so if you want to see how i obtained this look using the juvia's place berries palette then you'll have to keep watching. Okay, so again, I am doing my look today using the Berries palette by Juvia's Place. And again, I'm so excited that Nona reached out and wanted to do this collab with me because I have been waiting to use this palette. I know it's not a new palette, but it is new to my collection. So I'm so looking forward to using it. So let's go ahead and start out the video and do some swatches of the palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. I think it is so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch starting at this, with this row right here. And Juvia's Place does not, let me just double check to make sure there are no shade names on the back either. So there are no shade names. Okay, it says berries, a sleek and beautiful hand-picked rich berry color to create stunning eye looks. And it also says that this is a six color pressed pigment palette. Um, it says colors one and five are not intended for use around the immediate eye area. So again, that would be this shade right here and this shade, but we're gonna use them around the eye area, maybe if I choose to use these colors, but let's go ahead and get some swatches going. So this is the shade right here. See if I can build it up a little bit more. And then next we have this shade right here and it feels really smooth. Next we'll swatch this shade right here. Next, go to this row right here and swatch this shade. Ooh, very pretty. We'll go in with this shade. Ooh, look at that. And this last shade right here. These are pretty. Pretty shades, very stunning. So 
so I'm a horrible swatcher, but this is what the shades look like. So let's go ahead and get into today's eye look. I'm not quite sure what I am doing today, but let's just go ahead and jump right on in. I think I'm gonna go in to this shade right here, and I'm going to put that first before I do anything. Let me prime my eyelids, I haven't done that yet. Okay, so I went ahead and primed my eyes using my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And then I just went ahead and set it with my Laura Mercier setting powder. So again, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, just in my, um, above my crease. So I'm gonna be using my BH Cosmetics brush, the number five brush. I'm just gonna go very lightly. And I already have my base done, and what I'll do is put the products that I have on my base in my description box. And that is showing up really nicely. And let's see. I think I'm gonna go in and deepen my crease with another BH Cosmetics brush. This is the brush number six. And I think I'm gonna go in with this berry shade right here. And it is so pretty. And again, going in lightly. Oh, looks like I have a little bit of texture right there. I'm gonna try to cover it up. Okay, and that looks pretty good. I'm just going back into that first, I'm just picking up the first brush, not putting any more product on it, just trying to blend this out just a little. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush and dip back into that same shade. Now I am, okay, I'm gonna go in with this Morphe E22 brush and then gonna dip into this shade right here. And just darken up this outer corner.
Okay, that's a pretty shade. And for my lid, I think I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish blending just a little bit more. And I'm going to catch this eye up. And I'm not sure if I'm going to try to put lashes on or not. We'll see when I come back. Okay, I am back and I have both eyes caught up. I hope the lighting is not too bad because it is getting ready to storm outside. So let's just uh, go ahead and jump in and do our lower lash line. And for that, I am going to use my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Alkaline. Okay. And this is what alkaline looks like. Swatched on my skin. So now we're going to go ahead and dip back into the palette. And I think I'm going to go under my under eye with this shade.
My eyes are starting to tear up, but I think we're gonna make it. <laughs> we're gonna press on and make it through this video before they start running. Okay, so I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but I wasn't gonna do an inner corner, but we're gonna try and go in with this shade and see if it does anything. I think I like that. Yeah, I think I can get on with that. So I think I've used all the shades in the palette except for this pink right here. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. I'm scared to use it. I'm going to tap off my brush just because I want to go in with every shade. That's pretty. Kind of lightens it up a little bit on the bottom. Okay, that's not bad. So now I have, yes, I have to use every color in the pan or in the palette. And so let's go ahead and pop on some mascara on our bottom lash line. And I'm gonna go in with my Essence Prince Lash Mascara. Okay, so now the only thing we have left to do is to choose a lipstick and I've already done that. So I thought I would go in today with my Tarte lipstick and this is in the shade Berry Mojito. So I thought Berry Mojito would go great with the Berries palette. And this is what it looks like. So I thought this would be a perfect shade to use. I have some lip balm on so I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off. I thought we would use the Ellery Lip Liner by ColourPop. This is one of my favorite lip liners. I think that's a good shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and hope Nona doesn't kill me because she does videos in and out so quick and I am so slow. So Nona, don't be mad. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in just so you can see the look up close. And I do like the way the look turned out. And again, I'm gonna zoom you back out now. 
And again, we use the Juvia's Place, well, I use the Juvia's Place Berries palette. And again, this is what it looks like. And here are the swatches. And I am so pleased with this palette, guys. This is a first impression for me because like I said, I've not used this palette before, but all of these shades are so pigmented and I didn't have much fallout in the pan, even though they were pressed pigments, I have hardly any fallout. Just this one a little bit where I tapped the brush off because I thought it was gonna be too vibrant, but this is a great palette. Even though I sprayed my brush for this shade right here, when I did this lid, I went in with the brush dry and instant payoff. I mean, it was so bright and vibrant, even without wetting the brush. Afterwards, I did go in and wet my brush because I did wet it for this eye over here, but instantly, I did not have to wet the brush. This is this palette is so rich in color and I absolutely love it. I think this is the first time that I have truly used every shade in the pan. So again, if you don't have this palette by Juvia's Place, this particular palette, every time I would look for it, it would always be sold out. But if it is sold out right now, because I think right now she is having a 20% off um, sell. So if you don't have this palette and you want 20% off, you can look on the Juvia's Place website. If it's sold out and you still just want to go ahead and get it, you can also check the Ulta website where it's sold. So this is the look that I was able to create for you guys today. And again, I am absolutely in love with the look. So thank you so much, Nona, for asking me to do this collab with you. I am so happy to do so. Nona uploads almost every day of the week. I don't know how she has the energy to do so, but I absolutely love her channel and love her. So Nona, thank you again for asking me to do the collab with you. So if you're here from Nona's channel, again, welcome. And for my subscribers, after you've clicked off this video, head right on over to Nona's channel and check out the eye look she created using one of her Juvia's Place palettes as well. So that's all I have for you today, you guys. Again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell so you're aware each and every time that I upload a video. And as far as sharing the channel, please go ahead and do so because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you're always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody, and have a wonderful evening. Bye.